Okay, so now I have set up the new Etsy combined advertising and I know some of you had no choice or accidentally clicked. So let's look into what we can do with this. Because let's face it, all of us who advertise will be moved to these new adverts soon. So we might as well figure out how to use the limited data they give us. I bet a few of us are already missing our graphs. I very much am. We want to be tracking our results at least the best we can until, hopefully, Etsy gives us all this back. At the moment, the new Etsy Ads dashboard is a little limited. We can only pick data ranges of one month or one year, not the old style where we could pick today, yesterday, last 28 days, last month, this month, last year, custom dates, everything. And the results we are seeing are just totals, not like before when you looked at a month's data, you could see the graph with every single day. Or if you looked at a day's data, you could see the graph with hour by hour hour. It used to be handy to see that hour by hour trend so we could see if our budget was being used up early on in the day and the ads were getting switched off if it flatlines there. So we are missing this data because this hour by hour data meant we could be really proactive with our ad campaign. We could look and adjust our cost per click or our maximum daily budget to make sure we were getting seen on busy days. Or in a monthly or custom display, you could visually see the impact of any changes that you'd made. If you changed your cost per click, you could watch your number of views increasing or decreasing every day. Whereas this is going to be much harder to see if we're only getting an average of monthly. Any impact, any changes you make that make a difference in one day, it's going to take a while for us to actually see much of that difference. It's kind of averaged out now. Hopefully they are planning more functionality with time. This is new. When I clicked the button, it now said get early access. So hopefully that suggests to me that they it's not completed yet. This is like the beta, I hope, and there's more to come in. But let's look at how we can use the data they've given us just now and other data we can find in different places in our shop manager and see what we can do with what we have. So firstly, I want to share with you this brand new tool that eRank has just this minute created to help you understand your new stats for those of you who don't want to be bogged down doing the maths. This is a free part of the tool, so for those of you who haven't already, pop over to eRank and set yourself up a free account. And we find this brand new tool under Tools ROI Calculator. That stands for Return on Investment. And here you can add in the data you get from your ads dashboard, either the total data across your shop or for individual listings. Although at the moment my ads data for individual listings are not showing the amount of budget used. Hopefully they'll be adding that spend data in soon. But I pop in my data from the last month, hit calculate, and it quickly shows me my results for cost per click, return on investment, cost per order, click through rate, and conversion rate. Firstly, it's a line in the sand. Keep a note of this data. Write it down because we don't know what Etsy is going to be giving us in the future. And what we can do is grab this data every week. Go back, set yourself a day. Friday's a good day. Set yourself one day a week where you're going to go in and just pop in this data. And we can see if our cost per click or return on, in investments is trending up or down. So this will give us an idea how our ads have done over the week. You can also plug your cost per order over into your profit calculator calculator to find out how much your adverts are eating into your profit to see if you can afford this level that you're spending at. And hopefully when the individual data comes in for individual listings, we'll be able to calculate and compare and figure out which listings are giving us the best overall value. So if necessary, if our ads are getting too expensive, we can switch off the adverts that are just not performing great for us and keep on the ones that are worth the money. And there are sneaky ways in other places 
of your shop dashboard that you can find some other information. Firstly, from your shop dashboard, you go to finances payment account and we can see the daily promoted listings charge and see if that's increased or decreased since imp implementing the new ads. Now, I had Google Shopping ads on, but I don't see many results here, so I'm not sure what's going on here. Hey, if they've decided not to charge me, I'm good with that. So if you look at your promoted listings, how much it's charging you every day, you can look at what that, how that value is changing. And interestingly enough, since I switched on these ads on Wednesday night, it looks like Thursday I was charged less for promoted listings. And the total amount for the month in my advertising dashboard is showing down slightly. So instead of charging me a whole lot. It looks like on one day stats, don't count on one day stats, but it looks like I'm not being charged a whole lot extra. So that's good. And also you can get some more data and even graphs if you go into your shop stats and then scroll down to traffic sources. Click on see more traffic details and then advertising. And this shows your visits from Etsy ads. Although it's excluding visits from the app, it's still some data. And we have the full ability to choose any date range that you want. As a useful aside here, when I set the date range to one year, you can see my visits from ads really started growing from September. So it was really worth it in the winter months. And yes, the sales increased accordingly. Already for August, my views are slightly up on last August. So I should be able to compare my stats for the end of this year with the new ads to what I had last year and hopefully expect them to be just as good or even better than last year, fingers crossed, if the new Etsy system does its job well. So I will have something to compare at least. I'll be able to tell if I'm spending more and I'll be able to tell if I'm getting more views. That's something at least. And we're also able to look into a day's worth and see if it looks like the ads totally switch off at a certain point and don't turn back on till the next day. That might tell us that the entirety of our ads is being used up. At the moment, I don't have enough data. It's a quiet time of year, so my views from ads are pretty low and sporadic anyway. My fear still is that the new system might use up all my budget in a few clicks on Google ads and then have no more budget left for the rest of the day. So switch off my budget so my promoted listings won't be running for the rest of the day. I'm going to keep a really close eye on this and maybe try some strategies if this turns out to be the case. I don't think it is yet. Like I say, one day stats isn't enough. I will do regular updates on this and hopefully if you guys can let me know how things are going for you, we can look into this and see how well the new system is doing. So no one of these methods that I'm showing you is perfect, but they give us an idea. They give us some data that we can track. But I absolutely recommend, if you haven't switched over yet to the new system, grab all the data you can. Look at month by month data, your year data, daily data, grab absolutely everything you can, make yourself a spreadsheet, print out things, get a hold of it. Etsy will hopefully return this data to us, but at the minute in time, I can't see it. So before you click the button, check your stats and don't be like me who just hit the button to see what it was like so I could share with everyone. Hold off hitting the button until you think you understand what's going on. Read everything in the forums, ask Etsy questions, get right into it. You don't need to hit the button yet. I don't think there's any benefit yet for hitting the button. We're not going to get brownie points for being early adopters. Make sure you have fine tuned your promoted listings as best you can before that button's hit because they're going to use, well, they say they're going to use this data for a short time at least, so make sure it's good as it can get. I'd like to remind you all that although I also work for E-Rank, my views on this YouTube channel are my own and are not being promoted, paid, sponsored or endorsed in any way from E-Rank. However, if you have any ideas for any other things you want to see in the tool, give me a yell and I'll pass this information on to Anthony. He is fantastic at building new pieces into the tool based on feedback.
Now, unless Etsy does something crazy, I'm going to have a day off from videos tomorrow. So you might want to check out my playlist and catch up on everything I've talked about in the past few days. And for my Sunday live stream, we're going to put on hold my needle felting as this has been a big thing and I know you all will have lots of questions. So if you have, so we'll do a question and answer on the new Etsy adverts. So if you have any questions, pop them in the comments here, go along to Pam Duffy's Crafty Friends on Facebook and ask them there or ask them in the chat on the video. And I'll do my best to answer from what we know so far. Thank you so much for hanging out and I'll see you next time.